just a few hours ago I pulled in after I completed this, the saddle sore 1024 hours and I didn't even get a chance to unpack the bike so let me show you as I'm unpacking the bike what I packed for the saddle sore 1000 the iron butt challenge what I think uh, was good that I did what I shouldn't have taken with me also I'll have a video of showing tips and tricks and things that I did that I think that would make your saddle sore iron butt challenge easy cup holder i found it very useful although i literally didn't drink any of the coffee but it was always good to have something that i could throw really nearby really close by here is my quad lock mount that's how i my phone nearby close to me not distracting and uh very nice and secure easy on and off in my front cubbies i have my license and do anything with it because uh pretty much you need access with the key so i didn't use that for any of my needs over here i kept on this side of the cubby i kept a battery charger like a phone charger with me because on the bike currently i don't have an outlet for it to charge my uh my phone or my cameras or whatever so i had my big battery bank with the cable over here a handy i had tums and Tylenol because you don't want to be searching deep down into your bags if you need something handy so anything that you pretty much thought you need handy put over here a little neck warmer my concept was everything that I'll have to have near me on me with uh, easy access what needs to be outside mind you I overpacked the first time wasn't sure what I need what I don't need and initially I use a lot of gear for vlogging and camera and stuff so and stuff that I need at the destination you can do a loop a iron butt challenge then there's a lot of stuff you don't need for your stay because you can be ending up at the same pl place where you started with me it was a destination so I went traveled from North Jersey all the way down to Florida where I'm at right now visiting here for a week so I have a lot of gear that I actually need for my stay so it's a computer a tablet and stuff like that right here in the back easy access I put my food and my rain gear like a water resistant waterproof bag in this case Adichie there are a lot of companies out there because this is I didn't want it to get you know, all wet so I have my food a little uh, cooler over here and below that I have my rain gear that was easy strapped on the set of gloves that I took again I took too many gloves with me to have options to the second gear uh, Indy Ridge sporty gloves that I used when it was uh, colder in New Jersey and when I got closer down south I switched over to uh, my Harley American flag leather gloves the cut ones really cool the trunk I had my hats I had my hats I had my receipts all this for the iron butt you have to have your receipts to get it certified very important in a waterproof bag with a little uh, notepad and a few pens and a sharpie so that I had that in the back I didn't want to keep it in the front there was nowhere really accessible in the front that was waterproof here it's a little bit too small so I had it back here in a bag and this was always easy access no problem very important uh, extra helmet I brought an extra helmet because I was thinking to myself once it gets a little bit uh, colder or warmer actually I would say I'd be able to switch over to my three-quarter helmet and then be able to use the cup holder to drink while I'm riding because uh, I have a full face on that with a full face obviously there's no way you can use it bottom line is I actually never switched to the three-quarters helmet I found that the full face was always better it's more noise reduction wind protection and overall we'll talk about in a different video what helmet to take with you I think the optimal would be to take uh, actually a modular helmet which can be a full face and then when you flip it up it becomes a half helmet or a three-quarter helmet that then you can drink and then close it back down again so I took an extra helmet with me and inside all of my extra gear that I was that I was planning on using just in case a lot of redundancy I didn't want to be surprised to be cold wet and uh, suffering from no options how to you know warm up or dry up so extra gloves riding gloves that I never used my beyond riders neck warmer goggles clear goggles for nighttime and uh, obviously uh, sunglasses all to go with the three-quarter helmet all in here never used it looking back that was uh there was no need for that but who knew that's why you learned from my mistakes 
and you pack uh, better. Next thing is uh, my gear, camera gear. So obviously this is not stuff, this is not something that you'll need to take with you. Put all my electronics and anything that's handy because this is relatively an easy accessible compartment. iPad and computer, again, I need to edit this video. I need to do stuff for work. Again, extra gloves from Indie Ridge. Earplugs, I never use them. Uh, the, full, the full face helmet actually kept good noise protection, so I didn't need them. You might consider that if you're on a, a noisier bike over time, uh, over a period of 18 hours, 24 hours, you get quite a headache. So that's pretty much what I had over here. Extra battery, whatever, a little handy everyday carry knife. Side bags, I, I divided into two different sections. I did one side is gonna be my gear that I stay in my destination, like all my clothes that I'm gonna have this week. So it's pretty much a bag, a Honda bag that comes with the bike, a 34 year old bike with its own bags. Okay, the bags, and this is all my clothes, my clothes for the visit. It's all the clothes I have, that's the left side, thinking I'll never need to reach that or get into that during the ride, during the challenge itself. The right side, I kept all the things that I will need in terms of maintenance of the ride itself. I had here extra flannel, which actually, uh, this is a Beyond Riders flannel, Kevlar lined with, uh, as you see, pads and everything. And uh, I used this when I was uh, in the colder weather up north. Once we hit nicer, warmer weather, I switched over to my Kevlar mesh, but again, by Beyond Riders. So I had that extra one over here and I switched between the two. This is like an extra inflator, a uh, pump, an air pump that I just, you know, it's not really the most efficient, but I know it's reliable and I had to take it. And yes, I know if you're a, if you're a Goldwing guy, you know that you have the bike already has its own pump, air compressor. Got it. some extra bungee cords, some uh, microfiber for, you know, for the windshield, for cleaning up bugs and stuff. I collected a lot of bugs with me. Extra pair of shoes, Indy Ridge. I was wearing these Indy Ridge thinking that if these get wet eventually and I get all wet and I wanna stay dry, I'll flip over into these. So I had an extra pair of uh, Indy Ridge boots. Again, un uh, unnecessary. Because if you have good rain gear, there's no need for it. I have, uh, of course, uh, what do you call it? Dry clean, not dry clean, uh, you know, spray to clean up the bike. Got some toilet paper just for everyday use. I got some WD-40 just, I don't know, just in case. Never used it, but I am not sorry I took it. Tire pressure gauge. I got this, the CK Auto. I have a video of how I actually use this, how I repair a flat tire. Very important. I took this with me. Thank God I didn't need to use it. Air hose that connects from here where you can inflate your own tire. Of course, a little selection of tools that I thought I will I will be needing for my journey just in case, you know, roadside assistance, stuff like that. All the popular uh, popular things, uh, pliers, screwdrivers, Allen, a set of Allen keys, uh, zip ties, tape, whatever I think I would need. So that's, uh, that's about it. I have another video talking about what, uh, you know, tips and ideas how to make this uh, saddle sore challenge much easier, much, much easier. And they include a lot of things, what to take, what not to take. Check it out as well. That's it guys, check out the bonus part at the end of this video. If you want to watch more of these types of videos, please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, peace out. Got a little cheeseburg cheeseburger burrito from Trader Joe's. Gonna fart a lot on the way, on the road. Stop for a little protein, protein snack. Like cheese, crackers, almonds, and some great uh, pastrami, no, pepperoni. It's at Florence, Bucky's. I'm not gonna go in because it's a time consuming thing and I'm under a schedule mission accomplished challenge completed it was nice it was fun it was it was tell you the truth it was a little bit it was somewhat easy for me maybe because conditions were really good for me 
and the bike is really really great and I slept well uh, before and that's it now I'm gonna go look for a hotel 10 30 and I left the house three o'clock in the morning I'm gonna wrap it up go to a hotel sit down write my thoughts tell you how you can do this iron butt challenge easy really easy if you follow these tips